how is your relationship then with the MTA? You have MTA who is Muni, and then you have Taxi, the Taxi Commission. Well, I think I think in one sense it makes it, it does make sense for us as a part of transit mm -hmm. to be a part of the transit agency. I think that the MTA is going through a learning curve, mm -hmm. which maybe they didn't anticipate, uh, because we we are uh, we may be easy to look to. It, from the outside, we may be easy to comprehend, but from the inside, we are very difficult. Hmm. Uh, the yeah. things that we've been talking about have really been very, uh, very much summaries of of the uh, the full complexity that we find in the taxi cab industry. Well, as usual, twenty two minutes, as I said, goes so fast. I thought it was two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we only have. Let's see. We only have a few seconds left. So. If people want to help you or talk to you, any website they should go to? I think if you go to the MTA website, uh -huh. uh, you can find uh, uh, links to uh, the taxi cab section. Okay, great. And then you can take it from there. Great. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. As you can say, uh, there is so much to learn about this industry. Yes. And uh, from the standpoint of people who just need a cab, this is how it works. And uh, anyway, thank you again for joining us. And uh, this is Myrna Lim. Good night.